Um, no, nothing so far. Everything resonates Im immaculately like you just, yeah, know everything. <laughs> <laughs> so so accurate it's on like it's i just have no words <laughs> thank you thank you thank you for clearing up about the small issue that's been a concern but i knew it wasn't a concern to do with the ovary area and i had an idea it might be food related but i wasn't sure so you just cut straight through that i yeah. mean everything you said the spiritual side of stuff with some extra wonderful places that i feel now my connection to them that i was unaware of and some that i fully had been already shown but oh all of it i just <laughs> so you're so good <laughs> you're so good oh, it's un, un, i can't i literally have no words it's um there's a big Atlantean connection going on at the moment too here. And I think it's connected with the partner that I'm with. Um, Annie, is there any information on that? All I know, all I've been told before is that um, when the waters came, I couldn't save him. And so when we were coming together in this life, this is a part of me kind of, and him working on this beautiful piece of land. We feel like we're, almost creating like a Noah's Ark. I don't know, I'm just bringing out things that have come up. I don't know where all the connections are, but they're the things that I'm trying to see if there is some kind of glue, I guess, to it all or, or yeah. yeah. The safety of the land is what I'm getting. The safety yeah. of the land and nurturing and, and the stability and the solidness of the land not moving again or not yeah. being destroyed again we probably knew each other in atlantis because i definitely was there yeah um, that's where it is then you're i don't resonate so so strongly with i do with one or two people you're probably the third in my whole life that i've ever resonated that much with and i haven't even met you so yeah it's strong isn't it like you can feel yeah. it it's like yeah it really <laughs> really is there are lots of people doing lots of channelings out there and lots of starseed stuff and I'm really like, I'm really like, uh, I feel out my own truth about it all. And I, I hugely believe I've been shown so much and I'm sharing that with others too. So it's it's nothing to do with that. It's just, there's a lot of drivel um, and you are not that. And it was just so, so refreshing. I was just like, boom, that's who I want to watch. That's who I want to resonate with. That's who I want to connect with. And um, yeah, for sure, like the first openly spoken star seed about star seed stuff <laughs> and channeling other dimensions and beings from that you are the only person so far that i've really gone yep that's that's where the truth is and that's where i'm going <laughs> so i think that's why i wanted to connect as well so yeah yeah you're very, you would be wonderful purity about you i know you don't need me to tell you this i just feel like it's just i just wanted to express how grateful i am that you are in existence here so thank you yeah thank you lost for words it doesn't happen very often <laughs> but thank you me neither <laughs> i'm really just feeling that energy and feeling good all those energies with you, like Atlantis and Egypt and the goddess energy and the lion energy and the... Lion is big for me, yeah. <clears throat> and Lyra, everything you said, even the way you spoke about Lyra and Sirius, like when I first sort of had everything like come to the surface about what I am and, you know, when everything act was activated the first time. It was, you know, as it is for a lot of us, quite an intense period and it was wonderful. And I just got taken straight there and my child there is even called Lyra and it was Lyra that I was on. And I didn't know the names or words to any of the starseed stuff. I had no experience of any of that before I went into these meditations. So uh, researching afterwards was like, wow, that's actually a thing. It was really cool. But immediately um, I kept getting Lyran. 
but a connection to Sirius. <laughs> and then all of the other things you've gone through, then I felt like I resonated with Palladies was coming through a lot. And then, um, yeah, but but the Lyra stroke st Syrian thing, it's just, it's even how you said it, it was how it was explained to me and shown to me as well. So, and I've never, you know, I don't, I've never mentioned that to anyone really. So yeah, just, just, to, just in terms of the order of how you came out with things and um, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, you're very, very gifted. We're very lucky to have you. We really are. Yeah. Thank you so much, Linda. <laughs> ah, it's, it's, it's nothing. It's nothing. I'm just saying what it is, you know, I'm just saying what it is. That's it. That's really heartfelt, though. Good. Um, Good. So, um, it's been lovely to read for you. Um, <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I, I just sort of let you go with your intuition because that's why I'm coming. So <laughs> thank you for feeling like you wanted to just give me more than what I was even uh, sort of able to just sort of, you know, suggest in the beginning. So so thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for just just for, for all of it, for everything. I, I just It's really made me feel like... I've, and it's immediately as soon as I connected and reached out to you, everything shifted within me as well, even from the other day, from that point on, as it does, as soon as you kind of say, right, their spirit, bring spirit in and I want some guidance. It just goes, Whoop, doesn't it? And everything, they kind of line up a few days before you're reading and, or healing, don't they? And they kind of get ready. Um, and the horse and everything arriving, like this spirit that is within him is, he's more than I could have ever uh, dreamed of really um so it's been a, an amazing few days and the shift started from me reaching out so um I feel like from now on I'm I have I feel like I have the energy that I once had before which I was worried I would not get back <laughs> so um to be able to actually continue and fulfill because part of me was a bit stuck and I just thought is it just about my partner here is it just about healing that one lifetime in Atlantis is that it do I just need to keep you know keep us safe and and the responsibility that comes with that when I'm actually quite a free person normally um and I thought if it is that's fine but I felt like there was more and I know that there's more and now I feel like I actually have that clarity within you know that alignment that's going to take me forward so it's it's been epic actually for me just that the energy shift from the reading not just even the, the hearing it, what you were saying it, it's the, the whole I feel like it's almost been another kind of confirmation and activation and um comfort and everything you know and just connecting with home it's kind of just made me feel like I've had a massive holiday which I really needed because I was I've been very tired <laughs> so thank you thank you so much yeah thank you so much please do send me your payment details i will 100 percent send absolutely some money to you yes thank, thank you, you. <laughs> and i'll see you soon i have a feeling I know that you're supported i know you do anyway but i don't know that spirit's coming through to, to sort of rebound some of that love back at you because as givers sometimes we need to you know receive that um and i really felt like i just wanted to 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 give back just energetically in in that few minutes yeah so thank you so much for existing here and doing the work that you do so openly and so boldly like it's yeah it's empowering and it's inspirational thank you thank you linda <laughs> welcome <laughs> and, I'll, and i'll see you soon see you soon okay bye okay, bye of energy in that. Um.